Welcome to the voice of the Lord. Our verse for today is in Romans 5 verse 8. But God demonstrates his own love for us in this. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. What a great message the Lord is giving us today. That he loves us so much. That even when we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. He did not wait for us to change. He did not wait for us to reform ourselves. No. Even when we were yet living in sin, he already demonstrated his love for us by sending his son, Jesus Christ. Friends, we cannot possibly pay the penalty of our sins. We cannot change ourselves. Because of what we have done, friends, the penalty of sin is death. For us to be able to pay, we have to die. But God did not want that we should die, that we should not perish, but we should have eternal life. And that's the reason why Jesus had to come. He was our substitute. Instead of us dying on the cross for what we have done as sins, he took it upon himself and he died on our behalf. See, instead of us dying, Jesus died for us. That is love, friends. That is love. That's how he demonstrated his love for us. That's why in John 3, 16, we are told that for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. See, this is God's plan for us, that we will have eternal life, that we should not perish. But we have to do our part. Our part is to believe. Yes, God loved each one of us unconditionally. He did not want, friends, that we should perish. But we have to do our part, and that is to believe in the Lord Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. To receive Him as your Lord and our Savior. Friends, even the Lord Jesus Christ Himself demonstrated also His love for us. See, God loves us, and even Jesus Christ, whom God sent to us, he demonstrated his love when he said this, Greater love has no man than this, but for that man to lay down his life for his friend. And this is what Jesus himself had done. He yielded to the will of the Father and he died for us because he got love for us. Greater love, he said, has no man than this, but to die for his friend. And so, friends, appreciate what Jesus had done. And let's stop sinning. Repent and turn away from everything that we're doing that is sinful. So that we are not sending the Lord Jesus Christ to the cross again. That's how the Bible is saying here. That if we don't change, as if we are sending Jesus Christ to the cross again to die for us. But no, he only died once and for all. So, uh, friends, we have to uh, to change. We have to repent. We have to turn away from our wicked ways and go back to God. Amen. There is no better way for us to demonstrate our love but to actually live out what Jesus wants us to live. He said that the thief does not come but to steal, to kill and destroy. But I have come that you might have life and have it to, to the full. And to Live a full life, friends, is to live in Christ, to live in God. Amen. Walking with Him, believing in Him. Let's not waste the effort or let's not put the work of the Lord Jesus Christ in vain by not changing. No, we have to repent. We have to change. Amen. If this is your case today, friends, if you have already received the Lord Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, then repent and change course. But if you have not yet received the Lord Jesus Christ, then the better way, friends, is to receive him now. Believe in the Lord Jesus Christ and you will be saved. That is the promise of God. And it's yours to enjoy if only you will believe. Amen. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May his face shine upon each one of you and be gracious unto you and lift up his countenance on you and give you his peace. His shalom. 
God bless. See you again next time. Bye.